A new name for their parks division. Several new logos for their Universal Studios Florida or Universal Orlando Resort. And even here in Hollywood. Let's discuss all the news that Universal dropped yesterday. Right here on Theme Park Wizard. Alright, so yesterday, Universal dropped some new logos and a new name for their parks division called the Universal Destinations and Experiences. This is similar to Disney's kind of new name, uh, Disney Consumer Products and Experiences for their Imagineering division. And they kind of lumped, they kind of combined, you know, divisions together to form one. So with that, Universal dropped a new logo, their iconic Globe logo, which is this Universal destinations and experiences now this one looks pretty normal looks pretty okay but then they dropped some other logos for basically their entire florida resort and even here in hollywood as well so let's let's discuss all right so let's look at each logo one by one let's start off with the city walk logo this is universal city walk's new logo just for orlando immediately people thought oh my god this is too strip clubby or night clubby and i kind of agree i, I do like it though because it kind of signifies like nightlife of their older version of that kind of 90s one that they currently have. That is beautiful. But this modern edition is, I guess it's okay. I can't agree with the kind of strip clubby kind of racy type of vibe. But it also gives off a nightlife type of city walk type of vibe. So I think it's all right. And it's certainly not better than the old one in my opinion. Next up, going to the controversial, more controversial one. I mean, kind of all these were kind of controversial just due to their, their, their rendering quality. But the Islands of Adventure logo, this one is interesting. I think it actually is definitely a massive downgrade. I don't think it's bad, but I think it is just like the City Walk logo, a, a definite downgrade from the current Islands of Adventure logo. And they did change it from Universal's to universal islands of adventure and they did that for all the logos which is pretty interesting that like a uh, you know disney's california adventure to disney california adventure type change there but this logo is it it does signify adventure but it's just not as cool or eye-popping or like it's not as much going on as the current logo but again all these new logos tie into the new epic universe logo so i do like the overall overarching unifying theme but this logo is definitely a downgrade. And I like the blue in the center instead of red. Um, every other logo has the blue in the center. Even the current one does. So I'm not sure why they made it red there. But again, a downgrade for me. But it, it does what it needs to do. And it says Islands of Adventure. And it has the same kind of iconic shape and as the Epic Universe one and as the current one. So it does what it needs to do. But it's not as cool as this one in my opinion. This current one in my opinion. The Universal Orlando Resort and Universal Studios Florida and Universal Studios Hollywood ones are basically all the same. They're just globes. Um, it's, um, people were quick on Twitter to make jokes about how the words like Universal Studios are like just obliterating Central and South America there. <laughs> you can't really see Venezuela or Mexico or any part on that logo, which is pretty pretty funny now, now that, you, that I, they mentioned it. But they're okay. They're fine. Um, the Universal Studios Florida one... The sides, like Uni and Udios, the iOS, do look a little blurry. These are the non-high-res images. They did release some high-res images today. Um, better render ones, where I'm sure they look better. That's my only complaint. But again, it's basically like kind of a more modern version of the globe they already have. And there's one, again, for Hollywood. Same type of style, same ordeal. I think it's just fine. Um, and definitely the better looking ones of the newly released batch. But the best one, I think, is Volcano Bay. And let's go get to that one right now. This is really cool, my opinion. The current volcano, all of Universal Orlando's logos look absolutely perfect and amazing right now. But out of the new ones, Volcano Bay, I love the whoosh of water. It's like a wave of water kind of splashing in front of or onto this volcano. And I think that's really cool. And I like the style of the writing as well. It looks amazing. I think this is the best out of the original, of the current existing parks and the logos. Actually, this is the best logo. I'll give Epic Universe the second best logo because that is pretty cool. It's more eye-popping than the original. But yeah, Volcano Bay 
looking fantastic and certainly my favorite of the new logos but you can let me know which what is your favorite of the new logos down below but let's go look at the epic universe's new logo which is all these logos were changed to match that current vibe so funnily enough when i saw this epic universe logo yesterday it gave me an islands of adventure or donkey kong type of vibes because it looks very like a temple or kind of adventure and i was like i really like this um and certainly better it didn't give me space vibes which is funny i mean there are stars they added stars to the middle of it but it gave me kind of adventure like it looks like a compass almost like adventure island type of vibes i do like this one for functionality more than the original because the original it says Epic Universe, and it was honestly looked okay. But this one has the Epic Universe, like, capitalized. It's really in-your-face. It's eye-popping. It shows this is Epic Universe right here. And it's kind of cartoony. Again, look, almost like a Donkey Kong video game type of vibe going on there, which it will have a Donkey Kong area in there. But I think this one is fantastic. It is the best, I think, of the new, or the second best of the new logos. Do I like it better than the original? I do like it better than the original because of the functionality, because it's bigger. But I'm currently running a poll on the channel, which you guys may have voted on, and the original logo is winning. It's close, though. It's like 52-48%. Which one do you like better, the original logo or the new Epic Universe logo? And do you like any of these new logos from Universal Orlando or Hollywood Resort? Um, Universal Orlando Resort, Universal Studios Hollywood, of course. It's not Universal Hollywood Resort, as was rumored. But I don't know. Let me let me know in the comments below. I think they're co okay overall. They do what they gotta do, and that is tell you what park you're in, or what what area of, of you're in City Walk, you're you're in a theme park. Where are you at? That's what they do. Um, I think they're pretty cool. Maybe they look better on signage than in person. But let me know in the comments lo comments below. What do you guys think of this? Um, these new updates do you think it was necessary or do you wish you want those old ones back? I saw a lot of people comparing it to like 90s type of rendering. So I'm very curious to see what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park and epic universe updates, construction updates. We just did one um, that's up on the channel. You can check that out right now. And as always, have a fantastic day.